Geek Vibes Live is rated G for Geek. Hey, hey, back again. You know who it is. It's Dom Fisher with Geek Vibes Nation, and this is another installment of Geek Vibes Interview. Now, unlike the usual uh, Zoom interviews or even some sit-downs, uh, this is going to be, unfortunately, audio only. I had a camera with me, uh, but my battery exploded and there was nothing I could do. Uh, so you're stuck with my velvety I wish it was velvety. Anyway, um, May 12th, I went to a premier red carpet screening in Nashville for finding you, uh, the roadside attraction film that releases on May 14th, starring Rose Reed <clears throat> and Jedediah Goodacre, uh, Catherine McNamara, Patrick Bergen, um, Judith Hogue, Tom Everett Scott, uh, Saoirse Monica, set in Ireland. Um, and yeah, the Rose Reed, the star of the film, is from Franklin, Tennessee, uh, which is just south of Nashville, where the screening was held. Um, I got to interview Rose along with the director and writer, Brian Baugh. Those will be coming in just a second. And before we get to that, I just want to give you a quick rundown of um, the film. <clears throat> quick synopsis. Uh, finding You is an inspirational romantic drama full of heart and humor about finding the strength to be one's true self. Um, after an ill-fated audition at a prestigious New York music conservatory, violinist uh, Finley Sinclair travels to an Irish coastal village to begin her semester studying abroad. At the B uh, the B and B run by her host family, she encounters gregarious and persistent heartthrob movie star Beckett Rush, who was there to film another installment of his medieval fantasy adventure franchise. As romance sparks between the unlikely pair, Beckett ignites a journey of discovery for Finley that transforms her heart, her music, and her outlook on life. In turn, Finley emboldens Beckett to reach beyond his teen idol image and pursue his true passion. But when forces surrounding Beckett's stardom threaten to crush their dreams, Finley must decide what she's willing to risk for love. Uh, again, shout out to Rosa Attractions um, for setting up the premiere. It was a great time. Lots of great people. They had a Irish, uh, Southern Irish uh, dance team, step team, I really don't know what you call it, uh, out there doing some uh, traditional Irish dances um, before the film. Um, everyone caught a, a pint after the premiere was over. Lots of uh, friends and family of uh, people who worked on the film. Um, you know, I stepped out with my uh, cleanest shoes, uh, you know, got a little gold studs on them and whatnot. And, um, yeah, so coming up in about five seconds, uh, Rose Reed and Brian Baugh interviews on the red carpet and two, one, boom. Dom Fisher here with Geek Vibes Nation. I'm here with Rose Reed at the premiere of Finding You. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. How are you, Dom? I'm good. So... With this story, it seems that it may or may not kind of relate to you in a way with someone having to go on this journey to uh, excel at something that they, they dream of. And with us both being from Nashville, kind of blue collar state, how does it relate? How do you relate to the character in this story of uh, doing something extra that others aren't doing? It's, it's such a triumphant journey, and I think that's probably why I was so attracted to it, is because, you know, Finley has this extraordinary experience when she comes from a very ordinary life, and I think we all dream of that, and that's always what I dreamed. I'm sure that's what, what everyone dreams of, so it, this so resonated with me, and the idea of truly finding yourself and stepping into who you truly are and working for it just 
means the world to me. Also, uh, how does it feel to be in your hometown and be able to celebrate this premiere with your family and friends? It matters so much to me because, you know, we we are coming out of some pretty dark times, so it's so special that we're able to have this time, even if it is, you know, small and just with uh, direct friends and family. It's so beautiful. It matters so much to me, and I wouldn't trade the experience for the world. Thank you very much, uh, Rose Reed, again, and I appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Right, right. All right, Don Fisher here again with director Brian Baugh and writer uh, for finding you at the premiere in Nashville. Why this story and why now? Wow, this, I, I think in many ways, because I had done some heavier films, I was really excited to do something that was just full of joy. And now with the way the last year has been for our world, just with the stroke of luck, it felt like it could be a good breath of fresh air for the world right now. You know, to have something yeah. a little bit lighter, a little bit more fun, and, and a little bit escapist, and, and to give people a chance to, to go abroad when maybe they can't right now. Um, what can people expect and take away from the film once they've uh, watched it? Well I, well, I hope a few things. I mean, most of all, we just want it to be a great time and a good a good uh, chance to to go abroad and experience Ireland through through this character uh, as she's experiencing it for the first time. And I guess beyond that, you know, it's it's sort of up to the viewer what they want to take away. There's a few other things that aren't in the trailer <laughs> that, that might surprise you, and some deeper things if you want that as well. Nice, nice. Um, and lastly, where with this being a big travel uh, transformational film, uh, where is the first place you want to travel when the world opens back up, unmasked? Wow, I, I spent uh, more than a year in Africa. So I would love to take my family back there and visit, visit my old friends in South Africa and Zimbabwe would be one of my favorites. But I also, I also want to, I've never been able to get to East Africa, so I'd love to do uh, several months over there and play hooky from work and, and uh, Yeah, that's and, why, that's why that. you go. <laughs> uh, I appreciate your time and I uh, hope. And the idea of truly finding yourself and stepping into who you truly are and working for it just means the world to me. Also, uh, how does it feel to be in your hometown and be able to celebrate this premiere with your family and friends? It matters so much to me because, you know, we we are coming out of some pretty dark times, so it's so special that we're able to have this time, even if it is, you know, small and just with uh, direct friends and family. It's so beautiful. It matters so much to me, and I wouldn't trade the experience for the world. Thank you very much. Uh, Rose Reed again, and I appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Right, right. All right, Don Fisher here again with director Brian Baugh and writer uh, for finding you at the premiere in Nashville. Why this story and why now? Wow, this, I, I think in many ways because I had done some heavier films, I was really excited to do something that was just full of joy. And now with the way the last year has been for our world, just with the stroke of luck, it felt like, it could be a good breath of fresh air for the world right now, you know, to have something yeah. a little bit lighter, a little bit more fun, and, and a little bit escapist, and, and to give people a chance to, to go abroad when maybe they can't right now. Um, what can people expect and take away from the film once they've uh, watched it? Well I, well, I hope a few things. I mean, most of all, we just want it to be a great time and a good a good uh, chance to, to go abroad and experience Ireland through through this character uh, as she's experiencing it for the first time and i guess beyond that you know it's it's sort of up to the viewer what they want to take away there's a few other things that aren't in the trailer <laughs> that, that might surprise you and some deeper things if you want that as well nice nice um and lastly where with this being a big travel uh transformational film uh where is the first place you want to travel when the world opens back up unmasked Wow, I, I spent uh, more than a year in Africa, so I would love to take my family back there and visit, visit my old friends in South Africa and Zimbabwe would be one of my favorites. But I also, I also want to, I've never been able to get to East Africa, so I'd love to do uh, several months over there and play hooky from work and, and, uh, yeah, that's why, and that's see that. That's where you go. <laughs> uh, I appreciate your time and I uh, hope to, to go abroad and experience Ireland through through this character uh, as she's experiencing it for the first time and 
I guess beyond that, you know, it's it's sort of up to the viewer what they want to take away. There's a few other things that aren't in the trailer <laughs> that, that might surprise you, and some deeper things if you want that as well. Nice, nice. Um, and lastly, where with this being a big travel uh, transformational film. Uh, where is the first place you want to travel when the world opens back up, unmasked? Wow, I, I spent uh, more than a year in Africa, so I would love to take my family back there and visit, visit my old friends in South Africa and Zimbabwe would be one of my favorites. But I also, I also want to, I've never been able to get to East Africa, so I'd love to do uh, several months over there and play hooky from work and and uh, Yeah, that's where that. go. <laughs> uh, I appreciate your time and I uh, hope. friends in South Africa and Zimbabwe would be one of my favorites. But I also, I also want to, I've never been able to get to East Africa, so I'd love to do uh, several months over there and play hooky from work and, and, uh, yeah, that's why, and that's see that. Yeah, that's where you go. <laughs> uh, I appreciate your time and I uh, hope.